So a load of people, um, a load of people ask on the thingies, how does the gearbox work? So we'll cover it. Right, so you've got a little bit of movement on that one, don't worry about that. So you've got this is a gear, sits on a bearing, as you've seen we built it. This is sits on a bearing, this one sits on a bearing, and this one sits on a bearing. This thing being the uh, the bearing on the end of the gear set. It's not physically connected to this main shaft, this first motion shaft. There is no physical connection there. The whole thing sits on this bearing. Um, so your bottom drop gear sits here, if I can get that to line up. Tolerances are tight because it is a brand new gear. So it gives you a good idea. So the bottom, you've got an, an idler gear here and the crank sits above this. So idler gear, bottom gear. It will spin this at all times. When you're in neutral and the car's not moving, this is going round. Also, that gear attaches to here. So all of these other gears are also going round and round and round and round, and round the whole time when you're in neutral. What's not spinning is these bad boys. These are sitting on the splines permanently attached to this output shaft. Now your diff ratio, the small pinion goes at this end. I'll get that around there a bit. Your diff small ratio sits here and the large diff actually sits back here. When you engage first gear, <laughs> very difficult to do, you push, you slide this, which is spinning, you slide this onto these little dog teeth. And that's, you're then binding, the drive's coming in through there to this gear, onto this main shaft, which is solid, and you're saying, of all these gears that are spinning round, I want to select that one. So you put your foot on the clutch, this all stops spinning, the drive separates from the engine. You select your first gear, these teeth lock over there, lift your foot off the clutch, and the drive is it's using this one to then go back onto the splines and drive the diff. When you engage second, it bites this gear. When you engage third, this goes off again, and you go this gear. And when you go into fourth, you're actually not using this at all. Fourth gear locks the input shaft, he says very carefully. There you go. Fourth gear locks the input shaft to the output shaft. So third gear is over there, that's third, and this is fourth. So in fourth gear, it's not actually a gear. In, straight through, you've locked onto the shaft, out. There are no gears for fourth gear. That's why on a straight cut gearbox you get a whiny first gear, a whiny second gear, a whiny third gear, and then all you get is drop gears for fourth. There you go. A quick run through on how a gearbox works. I hope that made some sense.